Okay. So as I was saying, my name's Sheila Matchett. I'm an MSI instructor here for Rory. I've been with the program for almost two years now. Um, I am in all the anchor offers. I actually teach um, the Saturday uh, classroom for Rory um, at one o'clock. And um, it's been wonderful. I love to teach. And uh, I'm gonna be taking over for Paul for tonight only. I'm not taking over permanently. This is for Paul. Um, he's taking a much needed vacation with Rory. They're doing a mastermind um, in Mexico and they'll be back next week. So, um, but we had discussed on some things. Uh, Paul actually was showing you last week for those of you that were there on how to create a new page um, by modifying uh, the pages that exist. And, you know, getting all your content there, um, making sure that it's all in your own writing um, or your own thought processes, but the content and relative material is still the same. So you want to make sure that the thought process um, and the general overall feel of the page is the same, but you want to put it in your own words. Um, that just makes it easier to write. Um, what I've done is I've created a new page and let's see. Yep, so I've created a new page and as you can see, it's very generic. This is gonna be one of my holiday pages. I actually went on Jaxi and found um, this key phrase. Uh, there was only one site that was competing for this web, for this key phrase, which is the best online or the best online holiday shopping sites, um, which amazed me. Um, and it has about 240 hits, um, people looking for this particular site, but there's only one site that's competing with it. So I am the second one. So as you can see, it's just plain content. Um, I have various, from classic to regular block in there. And what we're gonna do tonight is I'm gonna show you how to go in and incorporate your pictures in there, either using the classic block or um, the regular block for uh, images. And we're gonna do images and galleries, all kind of different ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is, you wanna make sure that when you are creating a website, you never wanna put a picture right up underneath your title. Um, that will give you a bad SEO reading down at the bottom, which will state that you don't have your key phrase in your first paragraph. Um, you actually have a picture. So you wanna kind of not have a picture um, as your first immediate uh, focal point after your title. Always start with a paragraph. So what I'm gonna do is say, since I know this is gonna be Christmas shopping, I'm gonna be looking for toys, um, different things, diamonds, um, clothing and apparel, um, adult, 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 there we go, dry mouth. Uh, toys and then, you know, pets, always make sure that um, you have reference to pets whenever you do on holiday or gift shopping because uh, they are let's just like a second, you know, part of our family. Um, and then you have your travel and destinations. Um, so those are my topics that we're going to be looking for. Um, so people's like, well, where do you get your pictures from? Um, I always go to Google. And so the first thing I'm going to be looking for in Google is I'm gonna be looking for some holiday pictures. So I'm just gonna type in holiday pictures. And please excuse my slow internet tonight. Like I said, we got a storm coming up and we have several devices. So it's gonna be a little laggy. So I'm typing in holiday pictures, <clears throat> but I just want images. I don't want anything else. I just want images. So I'm going to pull up the images. And it's got several different ones. These will be great for um, my travel destination. So once you find a picture that you like, as long as it does not have a watermark, and a watermark is any distinguishing distortion that is on your picture, that will not allow you to print it um, or copy it um, without that distortion. You usually have to pay or get permission to use a picture. So if the picture does not have any distortions on it um, or any kind of uh, other advertising, you don't want other advertising on your picture uh, for somebody else's website or um, 
product. You want to make sure that it's exclusive, that it's pretty clean. Um, so we're going to grab some of these. I want to grab this one for my travel destination. So you're just going to right click your mouse and then you have your options depending on what kind of program or format you have. And I always click save image as because then that will allow me to distinguish which folder to put it in. So I'm just going to click here, save the image. And I do have my Dropbox. I do have the professional Dropbox. So I basically have unlimited space to where I can put just about anything I need to put in there. Um, so and I have my Dropbox labeled in folders. And I'm going to come to my blogging pictures and I'm going to find my folder that I'm using for holiday. So let's find, and it could be labeled Christmas. So here's my Christmas ideas. So I'm going to grab, open that folder. And I'm going to put, and I always label my pictures so I know which ones they, they are instead of having to actually open the picture. So I'm going to put Christmas vacation beach. Okay. And let's see, we're going to do another one that says, let's see if we can find, this would be just a general overall Christmas, nice Christmas picture. All right, so now I want to just go more specific and I want to find, oh, that's cute. I like that. I'm a very cartoonsy type of person. So if anybody goes to my website, you'll see a lot of different cartoon images. Um, it's just to me, that's just who I am. I don't like to get too serious. All right. All right, so now let's go back up here and let's be very specific. I want to do toys. Toys for Christmas. And since I was in images, it's going to pull up images and toys. Um, so I don't want to do like a collage of toys. I want to do actually individual toys that I know that some of my places market. Um, so let's see what I can find. This would be a good picture to use for just GIFs. So we're gonna hit save image as, and I'm gonna leave it because my folder's still up and type in GIFs. And then let's come down. This would be good for one of the programs that I have, one of the affiliates I have is Antique Collectibles. So I'm going to put that. Collectible toys. And let's get one more something cutesy. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to use that one. And we're going to label this okay. Yes, Patricia, I'm recording. I know I got the same storm you have, so we'll we'll get through this. So there's the toys I want to do. We did vacation um, and we can do, let's do one for uh, clothes. I have several clothing, but we can do clothing. And pull up images and let's do, actually, um, I wanna do party dresses. I'm going to be advertising for cocktail dresses for Christmas and New Year's parties. 
So I want to make sure we have something cute. Um, so let's see what we can find that potentially would be on one of my websites that I'm going to be marketing for. Mm -hmm. See like this right here, you don't want to be using anything like this because it actually advertises for someone else. So you want to make sure you stay away from anything like that. Um, this is nice. I can use that. The save image as. And I'm going to go back to my blogging pictures. I'm going to go to my folder for clothing. Okay. And I'm going to put, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So here I'm going to put um, party dress with mirror. No, Mac should always be the same. It just depends on, like I said, how you have your folder set up. Um, your save as or your command should be about the same. Um, it just depends on, on your Dropbox. So I'm saving these straight into my Dropbox. Um, so it just depends on how you save. I don't know all the commands for Macs. Um, I'm actually learning Mac computers because I do have a few students that have that. So, um, but as far as I know right now, um, the command should be the same, just save as or um, save, but you want to make sure that you do have the option to save as so that you can choose which folder you want to put it in. If you just click save, then it's going to automatically put it in your downloads or most recents folder, and then you will have to move it or try to remember what folder that is and where it came from. Um, so let's see, I need a cocktail dress. So let's go back up here and find cocktail dress. We're going to do more specific. Let's see, formal. Um, here we go, cocktail party. So now let's find us some cocktail dresses. All right, so you see how this one has these distortions on here? That is actually a watermark, so we can't use that one. So that's why I say you want to make sure to see how this one actually has a name written across it in very light letters. That's also a watermark. You can't use that in your website without getting permission. And then once you get permission, sometimes you have to pay a fee. And if you pay a fee, then they'll send you the actual picture or image that you can use without that watermark on it. Um, so I want something a little more classy that someone would wear to a New Year's party. Mm. And so I'd like to use that, but see it's got that name up there and I might not be using that type of label. That might not be an option for me. Um, that's a little too, that's good, simple. I might need that one for party and wine, so but I'll keep that in mind. This one's cute. I like this one. All right, so let's save this. And I'm going to label it Black Cocktail. All right. Most definitely. I already have some of those. Uh, on my site, so that's why I'm not getting them. I actually have a full page dedicated to us big, bold, beautiful women. <laughs> so, so that's how I got from Google. So I'm going to close that out. So then I'm going to come to my page here that I have, and I'm going to start by just coming here to my site, and I want to do just some basic pictures. So I want to do a gallery to start off with and I'm going to upload pictures that I have in my website. So I'm just going to click upload and I'm going to choose the pictures that I want and these are going to be in my Christmas folder. So as soon as my folders load, I'm going to pull up my folder for my Christmas 
ideas. And then there's that picture I had. So I want to use that one. In a minute. Okay, come on. Um, I want to use that one for something else. And, and the reason it's pulling these up is because I've actually clicked on gallery, but since I'm uploading them, it's pulling them up this way, but I want to create a gallery picture. So what I'm going to do is just remove this block come back to this block, open it back up, do my gallery, and this time go to my media library. And then click on my media library. And then we're gonna choose this picture and then see what else we have in here for Christmas. And now I got a couple more. If not, we'll go and add some more. That's a good basket we can use for Christmas idea. And we can use, no, I don't want to use that one. Uh -huh. There we go. We can use Let's use that. Okay, so then I'm gonna create my gallery. And then it shows me my images. And then I have the option that I can rearrange them and fix them the way I want to. So I actually want to do the gift basket first and finish up with Merry Christmas uh, with the manger scene. So then I'm gonna click on insert into gallery. And then I have that. The only thing about when you do a gallery image setting like this is you cannot link them. Um, so even though it says link to, these options don't work. You, you don't wanna link it to a media file. The attached page is the page that it's already there. So you just wanna click none. Um, you don't wanna link that. You can actually go back and write a caption if you want to across it, but then it distorts your picture. Um, so you don't wanna do that. Now the other thing you notice is how this is cropped. I have my images cropped. So it cuts off where it says Merry Christmas and I don't want that. I want that to be seen. So when you come over here to your right hand side, you actually have your, um, your settings for your gallery images. So this one is actually set up to default to three. I'm gonna drop it down to two. Then that way I have my two images and then my Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's gonna take up some space, but that'll be fine. I, I'd rather have it to be able to see everything than for it to be chopped. Okay, so let's see, I got some, okay. Yes, you can add to your media library. Anytime that you upload a, a picture or an image from your computer um, to use in your website, that gets stored in your media library. Now remember, do not, do not delete those pictures out of your media library because if you've used them and you delete them, they will also be deleted in every page that you've used that picture. Um, I learned that the hard way. So um, don't delete pictures or images that you have in your media library um, be, for that simple fact. Um, if you've unmuted yourself, please mute yourself because I'm getting some feedback. Um, I do have it to where you can unmute yourself, but please mute yourself. All right, so now this one, um, so now we're gonna do toys. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do the ones for toys. Let's see, we got some people in the chat. Yes, just use regular Google. Yeah, even if they're duplicates in your media library, you have used that in a page. The computer does not know it's a duplicate. They just know that you've uploaded another picture. 
and it's in your library. So even though it's a duplicate, you've used that picture at that particular time in a site or on a page. So if you delete one of them, wherever you use that particular image at that particular time that you uploaded it, it will remove it from that page. So even though they're duplicates, it will still remove it from your pages that you use that site, that picture in. So do not delete pictures out of your media library. All right, so now we're gonna come here to toys. And because I have used this in a classic block, um, you can see it has your, um, your toolbar here at the top. That's how you know that it's a classic because the toolbar looks different. Um, the good thing about this and the reason I like it is this is what I started with my PBS with. That's what I'm used to. Um, you can also center and basically dictate your pictures however you want to with this. Um, you can you know, put them at the beginning, paragraph in the middle, on the side, um, basically wherever you want to choose and put that paragraph, I mean that picture. So I'm gonna use this uh, picture here and I'm gonna put it right here. Let's drop it down just a little bit. Put it right there, we're gonna see how that looks. And I'm gonna click these two little icons up here. These are your media icons in your classic block. This is where you get your pictures and you're gonna get the same um, program that you did with the other one. Except for this one, I'm gonna go click upload. I'm gonna select my file. And I'm gonna get the one with the little girl right here. And hopefully it's gonna upload for me. I think that's the one that gave me that weird message a while ago. Come on. Is it gonna upload for me? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. All right, well, we're gonna try a different option here. So whenever you have that option, or that happens where, and it's just probably because I've had my website up for so long, so we will do save as a draft and let's do a refresh. See if that will help. Okay, so now let's come back here and see if we can get it to upload. Mm -hmm. And we're going to select again, grab this one, there we go. And then I'm going to insert that into my page and it's going to insert it with no particular, you know, just wherever the cursor showed up. So I want it to move over to the uh, left alignment and then I'm going to scale it down just a tad. And so now I have that picture that's a little bit too small for what I want. So there we go. So if I decide I don't like it there, I can just click my cursor and move it to the left. If I wanna move it to the left, if I wanna center it between that paragraph, I can center it there. Um, I actually like it on the right. That looks pretty good. I like it there better. Seems like it's got more room. So then I can add that picture there for holiday gifts. And I don't know why you moved down here. That's okay. All right, so, so now we have that. Now the other thing I want you to be able to see is um, some, some of you, when you get approved for CJ, CJ has some awesome pictures in there that people's like, well, how can I use this picture? How can I put this, this into my website? Um, and it's fairly easy to do. And so what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, my next topic is toys for big toys, for big boys. So this is for my automotive guys and girls um, that like accessories for their cars. My husband, my daughter, my 
nephew, they all have Mustangs, so they like to accessorize them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is find them some things that, you know, will help. You know, maybe make their car a little, run a little bit better, make it look better. Um, you know, just play with things. So there's Garmin, I don't wanna use Garmin. Parts Geeks. All right, so, so there's one. We could actually use that one and see that's a banner. So I wanna put this banner on my website. And it's like, well, how can you do that? So once you get approved for whatever program you get approved for, you affiliate marketing on CJ, you click your get code. And we all know the code that we always use in our websites, always our click URLs, this little one line that we use to link phrases and words in our paragraph in our um, content. Well, what we want to do is we want this HTML code. Okay, because I want that banner. So then I'm going to copy my code. And I'm going to come back to my website. And I'm going to hit my little plus button. And I'm going to scroll down here to where it says, I think it's in formatting. And I'm going to go custom HTML. And then I'm going to paste that code in there. And then I'm going to hit preview. And there's my banner. Now here's a trick. You see that the banner's not centered. I want my banner centered. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to put my greater than sign. I'm going to type in the word center and the less than, and then hit my preview and boom, my banner is centered. So that's a little trick. So now my banner is centered. Now the good thing about using those banners in CJ is number one, you have a picture. It's an automatic picture and however it appears, that's the way it's gonna show up on your screen. The other thing is if they click this banner, it is linked directly to your affiliate marketing house. So if they click on this banner, number one, you get a click, and if they purchase, it goes straight to your marketing house so that you can get um, access and get paid your commissions for it. So you don't have to link it, it's already linked. So that's uh, two for one right there um, on your pictures. All right, same thing right here for Betty's Attic. Um, she does a lot, there's a lot of collectibles in there, and I wanna use um, hers. Um, so we're gonna go and do Betty's Attic. So I'm gonna come here to my CJ and I'm gonna click Betty's, Betty's Attic. There it goes, it pops up and I'm gonna click on search. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Let me find something for Betty's Attic. And it might have something particular, like these are just text and whatever that text says, that's exactly what it's gonna pull up. I don't use the text messages I can write my own text I just want pictures um, see I don't really want t-shirts um, so yes you can get collectibles for those I don't really like that I'm looking for toys there's Lucille Ball my daughter's a great Lucille Ball collector um, so let's see what else. I was hoping they might have a banner for collectible toys. So let's see what else she's got here. Um, well, I could actually use that banner because it says sale items and we're advertising sale, Elvis collectibles. Um, let's see, this is a rotating banner but it's not very Christmassy. So I think I'm gonna go back and grab that one where it says sell items. There's one for beetles. So if I was doing one just for beetles, so let's go back up here and get, grab this one. Uh, where was it? This one. So I'm gonna do the same thing, do get code. And I'm gonna grab this HTML code, copy. Go back to my site. Um, and if you used a code before or your block, it's gonna be in your most used until you go and use something else. 
So I'm going to paste that code in there and hit preview. And because, you know, there it is, it's big enough. I don't have to type in for it to be centered. It's already there. So then I'm going to save my draft. I always try to save my draft after at least two, maybe three changes to my website, just in case something happens um, that, you know, might cause my site to go down and I don't, don't want to lose anything. To add media to your library, you, if you're in a system um, or if you have a picture, you just um, pull it out of a file in your computer and just had it um, to put it in your site. As soon as it's in your site, it's automatically stored in your library. Now there's another way that you can actually um, put media in there. Say you just don't wanna use it, but there's a picture that you wanna use. As you can see, I always have two sites of my website up. I always have two tabs of my website up um, because one of I'm working in and one of them I work through. So if I wanted to do an internal link, I don't have to save, go out or whatever. I just pull up my other link, find the page I'm looking for, get my permalink and put in it. So um, okay, we can do that too. So the other thing is like here, my next subject is gonna be diamonds and jewelry. Um, so I don't know if any of y'all remember, Jenna will prefer, prefer blondes with Marilyn Monroe. Um, she actually has a bit in there where she does diamonds are a girl's best friend. And there's actually a very short right here, YouTube video of that. And so I want that. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna take me to YouTube. And there's one or two ways that you can do this. I don't want the whole five minute version. There's actually, woo, 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 hold up. There's actually a two minute version of it. So we're gonna see if we can find that two minute version. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And let's see if we can find, is that it? Six, this one. So this one is a minute and 39 seconds. So I'm gonna pull this up, okay, and All right, and I'm gonna click copy video URL, or you can actually copy the embed code. If you copy the embed code, then you just you need to put that little link Roy has in episode, uh, what is it, episode 19? No, I can't remember which one it is right off the hand. Where you put the, or it might be episode 17, where you get that link and put it at the end of the embed code so nobody can advertise on your site without your permission. I'm just gonna get the video URL. So I'm gonna copy this. If it lets me. Okay, copy video URL. And then I'm gonna come back to my website and I'm gonna do a media. And I'm gonna insert URL. And you can do a video if you want to. I'm, I just do media, same thing and I'm gonna attach it. And then it's gonna embed it. And then there's that video on my site and it will play this song talking about diamonds are a girl's best friend. And then I'm gonna write my caption here. And then I can actually link this caption to one of my diamond um, affiliates that I have on CJ. So that's how you can do a video um, on there. And um, same thing with here, say uh, we're gonna get another image. So I'm gonna add an image block, just a plain image block. And I'm gonna go to my media library and see if I have some diamonds, which I should. I always try to look through my media library so I don't duplicate. Um, and I know I've done one for diamonds before, so it's in here, it's just gonna be way down here somewhere. Um, 
So we're going to grab that image of diamonds. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'm going to grab this one, actually this one. Select. All right. So I got diamonds are forever. And the reason this caption showed up is because I actually saved this picture with this caption in it. So um, then I'm just going to center it. And then as you can see, once you click on this picture or this image, you have your, your um, sizing dot. So you can actually make it bigger if you want to, but then it gets fuzzy. So I'm going to keep it kind of small. And then you see your image settings over here on the right. You always want to put your on your alternative text. You want to make sure that that is linked with your focus key phrase. Um, I know there was somebody in the chat was, you know, kind of confused about it has to be a description of what your page is about. It does not. Um, what you want on your image settings on your alternative text is always your focus key phrase or keyword. And the reason you want that there is because then your picture can be indexed according to what your focus key phrase or keyword is, um, and which is a good thing. Because then, um, just like with Pinterest, if you're on Pinterest or Google Images, if you click it on once, it actually pulls up the image. If you click it on twice, it takes you to the place that image came from, which is the link. So if you have this uh, focus key phrase linked with your page in this picture, then if they click on your image twice, it brings them right to this page where your um, article is and they can read about diamonds. Um, so that's why you always wanna make sure that all of your images, um, except for the galleries, like I said, those cannot be linked currently, but any single image you wanna make sure that it is linked, that you do have this alternative text in there. So this one is um, best online holiday shopping sites. Okay, and then my link, you always wanna do your link to, so I need to pull my CJ back up. And I'm gonna pull up my folder here, find my CJ, and type in And I'm going to type in my links and type in my search tool. And when you type in your link in your search tool, it brings up only your advertisers that you've been approved for. You don't have to worry about determining whether or not you've been approved for the sites. If you click on your links in your search, those are the ones that you've been approved for. As you can see, it says my advertisers only. Um, and that's the only ones that I want. So then I'm going to come here and type in the word diamonds. Oh goodness, look at the time. I'm sorry, I'm used to my two hour class on Saturday. Um, so here is, uh, I have Gabrielle Jewelry, um, Diamonds USA. I like Diamonds USA because they have actually um, very good pricing. Um, I like that one. There we go. I'm gonna grab this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get um, my click URL. I'm gonna grab this link here, copy, go back to my website. And where it says link to, I'm gonna go to custom URL. And I'm gonna paste in my site. And then I wanna make sure I open in a new tab. And then that picture is linked. Same thing with clothing. Um, again, this one is gonna be in, check up there. So I'm gonna do this one the same way. Um, and I'm gonna do a gallery. So when you're in classic block, it actually gives you a menu on the side, only with classic. If you're in classic trying to do images, it will pull this up if you're in your media library. So I actually wanna create a gallery. And I'm gonna pull my 
bold and beautiful ladies. Um, and so let's go. Where are you guys? Want single pictures of some cocktail dresses? So there we go. So I want to use her and her and let's use her. Choose her. Okay. And then I'm going to create my gallery and we're going to put the two black dresses on the side and this snazzy dress in the middle. And I'm actually going to put a caption on this one. All right, and then I'm gonna insert. So there's how you can see that. All right, and it shows my images for my clothing. And then we can do the same thing. You just keep continue to go down. Um, on this one, we can do the same thing for pets. And I'm gonna do a uh, image block for my pets. I'm gonna get it from my media library. And let's find one for our pets. Actually, I might use one of my memes for my pets. Where is my pet meme? So I'm just going to upload it, select a file, and I'm going to come here to my logos and find my pet meme. Okay. All right, and hit select. And that's kind of big, so I want to make it a little bit smaller. I want to center it. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing, best And this one, I'm actually going to link it to an internal page. So I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to look for my pet care page. Well, I thought I was. There it comes. So I'm going to come here to my all pages. And I'm going to come to my search and type in pet care. And any page that I have that has pet care in it, it will pull it up. And so I'm going to come here. I'm going to do edit. And then I'm going to come over here to my document side. Come to my permalink. Copy this preview link. Come back to my website and come down to my link to custom URL. Paste my link in there and I still open it up in a new tab even though you don't have to. And the only reason I do is um, SEO automatically picks up that it's an internal link because it has my web address in there. Since I'm working in my web address, it automatically knows that's an internal link. 
I actually have it open in a new tab. That way, if they click on this link, go to my page and read it, and it's not really what they're looking for, then my original page is still up where they got that link from. So they don't have to go back and research my website to try to find what they were originally on. It's still there. Um, so that's just an option. That's how I do it. Um, it's totally up to you what you want to do with your site. Um, again, you can actually link this um, to another page if you want to. So I'm going to just hit my save draft here. And then I'm going to read um, some of the comments in chat and then we're going to go to Canva. Okay, yep, episode 19. Yeah, if you go to episode 19, it will actually show um, how to do that, uh, put that site in, because I don't have that site here. So I do have it bookmarked. So if you go to your page, all you have to do is remove it. Same thing we did with the HTML codes. Um, now what we're going to do now is I've created, like how, how I created this, the one I did for Halloween. So I'm actually going to go to Canva and create a Christmas one. I haven't done anything for Christmas yet. So I'm going to come here to my website enhancements page, go to my Canva. And Canva is a free site. It's canva.com. As you can see right here, canva.com. It's a free site. Um, there are some programs or, or options to the program that you pay for. Um, I actually pay for the program. It's like $12.95 a month or something like that. Um, just to get some different enhancements. But for the most part, if you anything on here you want to create, you can. It's free. You download your own pictures. You can get it from Google. You can download it from your phone. Anywhere you can get a picture that you like, you can download it. Um, you can see it has several different options. You can create posters, business cards. This is where I do my business cards. Um, you can do letters, postcards, flyers, you know, just about anything. You can do your social media. You know, you're like, well, how do I know what size I need? Canva has it. If you want to do an Instagram post, this is the size you need for Instagram posts to get maximum exposure. Um, if you want to do Facebook posts, Facebook stories, you know, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff is here so that you know exactly what size you need to go on each of the social media outlets. Um, if you want to create documents, you know, for presentations, you know, if you're doing a wine tasting or a social or any type of party, you want to send that out. And then you have your personals for your business cards. Um, I mean, your, um, yeah, birthday recipes, you know, you can actually create a photo collage, um, calendars, you can create your own calendars, especially with the holidays coming up. You know, that's a good thing to have. Um, good uh, gift ideas, you know, create a personalized um, calendar for somebody. Um, and then your education, you know, lesson plans or planner. If you haven't gotten the planning book that to, um, Tanya has, you know, here's another one that you can use to stick up on your, um, around your desk area or your work area so that you know what you need to be doing on a daily basis. You can even create your own logos here. So there's all kind of different things. I always opt to do, um, for the social media, I always opt to do an Instagram because it has the size that basically encompasses all the other programs. Um, so it's just the, basically a one size fits all. So the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up a blank page and it's gonna have a template in here that is for an Instagram. You see it says Instagram post, it's untitled. So when it does that, it gives you these templates already for Instagram. And you know, some of them's populated and it just shows you what it could look like. You actually have the ability to change all the writing on here, delete all the writing. You can leave the background if you want to and just change it to make it what you want it to be. Um, you have birthdays and you just click see all and it has everything it has there. If it's not a free program, it will actually have a price on it. Um, and so you will know automatically if you have to charge, you know, will pay for something. So I actually have pictures that I have in my um, Dropbox that I want to use. So then you come here to where it says upload. And I'm just going to click on images, upload an image, and it's going to pull up a folder. 
And then I just have to choose if that's the folder I want and it's not. I'm going to come here to my folder and I'm going to get my Christmas ideas. And I want to do something um, fun. So you want to make sure that when you're doing a, a picture for Christmas that um, I don't like any of those that you do have enough space that you can write with it or write around it. So let's see, I know I got some more here that's for Halloween. Maybe it's in my Halloween. Did I put all Halloween and Christmas together? I hope I didn't. Nope. So, I thought I had more Christmas stuff in there. All right, so I'll just pull one of these. So I'm gonna grab the picture one. And I don't wanna use that when it's already got writing on it. Um, so I'm gonna grab I don't really want that one. Let's look at my wine. Seasonal promotional. There we go, that's what I was looking for. All right, here's one for the Grinch. So it's gonna download it. And then all I'm gonna do is double click it and it will put it over here in my blank space. As you can see, this picture does not take up the whole space. It did it twice. All right, so we can just delete one of those. So I can actually stretch this out if I need to to make it just a little bit bigger. I don't want to go too far. All right, so there's my Grinch. So I have my picture. I don't, I want to leave some space because I want to do some writing on there. Okay. So then you have to think of what you want to write. And so I'm going to come here and hit my text. And I'm going to do add a subheading and it puts it here in the middle. I'm just going to move it up to where I want it. And then I'm going to expand it out. So I'll see how much space I got to play with. And I'm going to put it in caps. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to open this up. Okay, and then I want this all to be on one line. So I'm going to expand that out and there that goes. Now you can actually play around with your type and I want it to be kind of Christmassy and boldsy at the same time. Um, so let's go here. How that look? And let's go here. Okay, so that actually did that. So let's change the size of your font. We that know that was forty nine. Let's see if there's forty two. Okay, so there be a Grinch this year with a change of heart. And let's actually bring this back in. And we can actually do another subheading. 
And let's bring this down. And we're gonna open this up if it lets me. I don't wanna move it, I wanna open it. Okay, come on. Let's see, where'd it go? All right, let's try this again. Subheading. All right, so now let's bring this down, see if I can open it now. And just move it, you can play around with it. Remember the reason my spelling's off for the season. All right, and again, I wanna make sure that the font stays the same. So we're gonna go back and find the font that we had, make sure they're all together. We can actually make this bigger if we want to, so it stays in the same context. I don't want it to be that big though, so let's drop it down to 32. All right, so let's move this up here. Bring this up here like that. And let's do a capital R. There we go. All right. And now basically have our writing and I want to do one more. Always, always, always make sure you reference your website. You're not cooperating with me today. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to here. I don't know why that keeps putting that G at the end. And we're going to move that down. Okay. All right, so now we have that. Move that up just a little bit. And now let's find us a background. So now we can come to backgrounds and you have your basic colors. If you want to just have a basic color, you have red that makes your picture actually stand out. You can do burgundy. Um, you know, you just play with it. Oh, that's nice. But since it is Christmassy, we can actually go with the red if you want to. Um, you can actually play with the way you're... And uh, we don't want to add the comment, but I do want to turn this. So let's see if I can get this to turn. I don't want to turn. All right, that'll be fine. We'll leave you like that. I don't know how I got that. 
There we go. And I want not you. And let's do you same way. Opposite. All right. Uh, let's do it just a little bit more. Okay. So there's that. And say you want to keep it black, you can leave it black. You can actually change your color for your words if you want to. So what other color could we use if we wanted to use just white? You can actually use white, but then that kind of bleeds with that. So let's go back to black for that particular one. And then we can do this one in white. Stands out a little bit better. And then you kind of got a color scheme going um, there. So there's that. And then I would say that this is basically finished. Um, I could actually put my own logo there if I wanted to. So I can actually come back to my upload pictures and grab my logo. And let's minimize it. And we can stick it up here where it's seen but not seen. You can put it there, or you can put it down here, anywhere you want to go. And some people say, oh, that's really small. Well, you want it small, but at least eye-catching, and they can actually see what's on there. Um, so that's basically finished, I think. Um, got my website. I got a message. Got the change of heart, my picture. Um, let's actually make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's center it. All right. You want red background? We can change red background. So let's go background. Do red. So we can do red background. Then you can center. There you go. And let's move her back down center. There you go. I created that logo. Um, I created this logo same way I'm creating this um, with Canva. So then once you get finished, um, then you just hit your download and it asks you how you want to, what do you want to do with it? Then I'm going to actually download it. I always download it in a PNG because um, that's the best format. Um, it's good for your website. It's good for when you're posting images for, um, to do your advertising. So it's a good overall um, way to get your images out there. Um, so once that gets done, then I will come back here. It's going to show up in my toolbar down at the bottom. And once it pulls up, it just takes it a while because my computer's really tired. Um, and so then it's going to show you what my image is going to look like. And as soon as it comes up, I'll actually save this in my Dropbox file. Um, and then I'll probably have to stop the recording. It's been an hour. Guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to go over. Let's see what we got going on in the chat. Thank you, Miss Tony. All right, so come on. So once that comes up and I can save it, well, it didn't download. Come on, let's, let's open it again.
Thank you guys. You should see me on Saturday. <laughs> we never stay on target or stay on task. We always go over. So, so this is how my page is going to look or my ad's going to look. And this is the perfect size that I can use in my website. I can use for my advertising. I can use on social media. So then I'm just going to save it. And I always, again, hit save as. And then that allows me to put it where I want to. So I know exactly where it's at, where I can find it. I'm not hunting all through my computer trying to find it. Um, I always going to make sure I save this in my blogging pictures under my logo. And I name my picture. So this is my Grinch logo Christmas and save. So now it's saved. And so now all of my pictures, if I come back to my Canva, I can go to my designs and every design I've created, including this new one, is here for me to use. So Anytime I want to come back and say, hey, I've lost my pictures or whatever, all I have to do is pull up my Canva and all of my pictures are here. Here's the one I created last week or a couple of weeks ago on my web uh, Saturday class for, you know, coffee. You know, just a couple of things that we can do. Here's my logo I created for my website, uh, for my logo. Um, so they're there for Canva. Just get the program. Like I said, it's free. Play with it. You know figure out the different techniques that they have there. They actually have templates. Um, one of the things that's really good about um, the, the thing about, um, Insta, about the, the uh, Canva is you can um, go in there and basically do whatever you wanna do. Um, they have all these wonderful little templates over here on the side once you've decided what you wanna do and it pulls up, it actually has like these, um, these graphics here. So you can actually pull a graphic up and um, say you want that circle that I had, then you just pick the circle and it will pull a circle in here and then you just put your picture in here to fit that circle. Um, you know, so however you wanna do it, um, and then you can create your memes. Here's grids if you wanted to do two pictures, you know, put a picture here and a here, and it will actually um, work that picture. You can put graphs, you can put charts. Um, here's, I think this is the one I use, the frame. So yeah, so you can actually put a picture on a picture um, and create multiple layers of pictures. Um, you have shapes if you want to put a shape in there. So, um, and it tells you which ones are free. Um, and so if you come across one and it's not doesn't have the word free on it, then you it will tell you it'll have like a little dollar sign. So that means either you upgrade to the pro, so it's not, you don't have to pay for it, or you know, you pay whatever the cost. The most of them run about a dollar, a buck to you know, five or six bucks. I haven't seen anything. I think the most expensive one I saw was like four or five bucks. So um, so that's that. Um All right, here is um, the link for Canva. It is C-A-N-V-A, I'm putting in the chat, dot com. All right. All righty. So we're gonna do one more thing and I'm gonna show you how to use that site or that image we just created. And we're gonna actually put it on our Facebook. So then all you're gonna do is go to Facebook because Facebook, they will not do a newsfeed. They will not release your um, post on a newsfeed if you have your link in your original post. You can put your link in your comments, but, and it'll be fine. But the way to get around that is have that little meme that we did. If you are in Roy's program, he has some awesome memes. If you're not in there yet or not capable of getting that program quite yet, this is a good alternative. So right here, all I'm gonna do is type a little uh, post.
All right, and then I'm just gonna add my photo. And again, it's gonna pull it up and I'm gonna click on my blogging pictures, find my logo. And then I'm gonna find my post that I, picture I made, I know it was a G for Grinch. And there's my Grinch logo. And I don't have to put a link or anything in there because my logo is on my picture. And then I wanna put it on my newsfeed and also on my storyline. And then that way everybody can get it. It also goes to my news feeds, which means it can go public. Anybody out there reading on it and will find it. And it also goes to my story. So all of my personal friends and family and can see this. So I'm just gonna hit post. And that's all I have to do. And there's my picture. You know, got a link in it, but the picture's not linked. Um, but it's great. It's got it ready for Thanksgiving, Christmas with the Grinch. Um, got a message behind it, but then there's my link that they can just click on it. All right, so Miss Kathleen is doing the Saturday training. I'm going to stop the recording.